Hey there, how's it going? Welcome back to another Let's Play, and this game is called Ori in the Blind Forest. Just like that other game I was playing called Near Atoma, Atoma, Tomato. Just like that other game I was playing Near Automata, I've been hearing a lot of good things about Ori. I'm gonna put my Near Let's Play on pause, and I'm gonna play this game because the sequel for this game comes out in like two days. So I want to play this, and then I want to play the sequel. Let's start. Empty slot. Uh. One life. You only get one chance to save Nabel, the ultimate challenge. I'll do normal. There's two things that I keep hearing about this game. One of them is the music, and the other is the visuals, which is two things that I like in a game. So I'm currently playing this game on PC, and uh, I had some difficulty setting it up. Whenever I try to put this game on OBS, there would be these black bars on the top and bottom. So the only way to completely show the whole game without any black bars is to put it into Windows mode and just resize it myself. So I just want to mention that I have no idea what type of game this is. It so far it just looks like it's going to be a 2D platformer. So far this game looks really beautiful. I'm already digging the visuals.
Damn. So I'm assuming that this little glowing creature is called Ori? Is that the name? It's the name of the game, so I'm just assuming. So I guess Ori noticed that... Is that like his big friend or something? Whoever that is, uh, I guess Ori noticed that that thing is hungry. So it's bringing it fruit. Oh, you see that? It was like a spider right up close to the screen. Alright, here's some food. Eat up. Wait, is it dead? Did it die? So that was Ori's mom? It said orphan, so that probably meant that it was its parent. Oh, 
Well, I agree that the music is really good. Also, that the visuals are really good. Game saved. All right, cool. Do we now get to play the actual game? Whoa, look at how fast I am. I don't know if you can hear that, but I just got a Xbox achievement. Alright, so where do I go? Oh, crap. Can I jump over that? Okay, I don't think I can touch that stuff, so I'm just gonna go down here. Hold down, press A to jump down through platforms. Ooh, what's this? You found a small spirit light container. Spirit light has been added to your circle. Find more spirit light containers to quickly gain ability points. Ability points. I'm getting a feeling that this is poison. I played a lot of Super Mario to realize purple water is not good. What's this? You found a life shard. Click these to restore your vitality. You found an energy cell. You can collect and use more energy. Remember that you can use energy to create a soul link and save your game. Hold B to create a soul link. So is this saying that I have to collect that in order to save? Or can I just do that whenever? Oh! Oh god. You found some spirit light. When you fill the circle, you'll gain an ability point. Good to know. I see something down there. You gain an ability point. Create a soul link and tap B near to access the ability tree. Wow, look at all this. This is a lot of game. Let's see here. What can I do? Allows reusing soul links and shortens the cooldown timer. Most pickups now float to Ori. Allows you to shoot three flames before recharging. So apparently I can shoot flames. That's going to be a thing. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going to be useful, so I'll wait on using the the Either ability point. Press X to pick up the tiny light. My strength is returning. I am Sign, the light and the eyes of the spirit tree. I was lost in the glen when she loosened her grip. I can guide you on your journey if you allow me to come. But be still. Can you hear that? They must have followed you here. Tap X repeatedly to use a spirit flame. Found an energy shard. Energy shards restore power to Ori's energy cells. Their light shall return to me. These words the spirit tree once said. In the glade past the caverns will find him. There's a path up ahead. I wonder how long this game is.
New objective. Find the spirit tree. Alright, let's go find that tree. Press select to view the map. Okay, so I can bounce on those blue things. Spirit wells are ancient structures that were used to quickly traverse all of Nabel. The light of the spirit wells will also replenish your strength whenever you are weary. I can save my game or warp. Let's save. Alright, since I have two skill points, I'll use, do that, and I'll increase the strength. Well, look at that. It's a lot more stronger now. You found the keystone. Keystones are used to open spirit gates. Remember that each spirit gate will require a different number of keystones. This spirit gate blocks us. They were built for protection before the days of decay. The required keystones must be nearby to reach the spirit tree. We must pass the spirit caverns that lie beyond this gate. Alright, so I got one of them, and I can see the other one is right above me. Apparently they respawn. Now I know. Hollow Grove, Black Root Burrows, or Spirit Caverns? Uh, our objective is to go to spirit caverns, is it not?
Oh no, it disappeared. I'm trying to get up there, but I can't. Well. The light of the spirit tree lives in all of us. He is the reason we're alive. He is the reason we grow. When he called out to find you, many years passed, we were attacked, wounded, and killed by our foe. Now these ancestral trees are all that's left behind. Come closer now and feel the light of Phil, the spirit inside. Press X to absorb light. Does that mean I gain new ability? You've learned mole jump. To use his ability, push the, uh, I guess, left stick towards the wall and press A to continuously to leap upward. You found an energy cell. You can now collect and use more energy. Remember that you can use energy to create a soul link and save your game. See here. You found a map stone fragment. Return this to a map stone to unlock a new area map.
Ori. This is a map stone, one of the many ancient markers created to chart the forest of Nebel as it grew. There is a piece missing. If we can find the map stone fragment, we might be able to repair it. Oh, look at that. So I can see that there's a path that's underneath the water. Yeah, it does kill me. I'm not going to try to risk that. So I'm playing the definitive version of this game, which supposedly there's two new abilities that comes with this version of the game. You found a life cell. You can now retain more vitality, find more life cells to increase your survivability. So I guess I'm assuming that the only way I can, I can go down through the water is if I have enough health to lose when I go down there. Maybe. That's what I think. Why do I get the feeling this is the type of game that has the player dying alive? Because I'm getting close to death really fast. I'm dead. the spirit tree he must have used the last of his strength to save you come now and hear our story it was the night of the light ceremony it was our light that she hated You received the spirit tree's light. He put our fate in your hands. Listen carefully now, for you must understand. 
the spirit tree sustained the three elements of light and they brought balance and kept Nabil safe. The element of water is high atop the Ginzo tree. The element of winds deep within the Farlin ruins. The element of warmth beneath the fires of Mount Horu. To restore Nabel to its former self, we must rekindle their light before it's too late. But first, we will find beyond the spider coves atop the tree where the waters once flowed. Careful or read, the ground is unstable. Find a large spirit light container. Spirit light has been added to your thingy. Find more spirit light containers to quickly gain ability points. Gotcha. I know the spirit that died here was strong and courageous. Listen to his voice. He was able to focus our lights. 